Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are doing well by the grace of the Almighty. This is your Injam sir, welcoming you all to another class of population of Bangladesh. In the last class we talked about introduction to demography, dominant elements for change of population, concept of birth rate, mortality rate, concept of migration and social mobility. And we learned population is not same in all countries of the world. In some countries the population is large while it is small in some other countries. Birth rate is high in the poor countries while it is low in the rich countries. But there arises a question. Why does this happen? In this lesson we will learn about the impact of a small or a large population on society and economy. So the learning outcome will be causes of dissimilarity in birth rate and impact of birth rate discrepancy. So let's get started with today's lesson. Causes of dissimilarity in birth rate. There are many reasons for dissimilarity or rise and fall in birth rate. For example, climate, lack of education, early marriage and polygamy, low living standard, infant mortality rate, and so on. Let's know more about these causes. The first one is climate. The people of tropical countries are more capable of breeding children than the people of cold countries. In the tropical regions, people become capable of breeding prematurely. That means people actually are capable of giving birth to children from an earlier age. All right. As a result, the growth rate of population is low in cold countries, while in tropical countries it is high. Now, you can Google what are the tropical countries and you will get your answer. Here goes to pictures. On the left side, we can see a picture which is similar to Dhaka city or which is similar to our country. Okay, this picture is actually taken from India and to be precise this is a picture from Kolkata and India is a tropical country that's why the population is huge and the birth rate is also high on the right side we can see a cold country and in the cold country the birth rate is not high rather it is low now here goes a picture this is a census which is for population 2021 according to the tropical countries. The first country with the huge number of population is India and it has 1,393,409,038 people. Alright, then we have Indonesia, Brazil, Nigeria, Mexico so on they are tropical countries and by the number of population you can you can imagine what is the birth rate there right well the second cause was lack of education this is very important why lack of education makes the common people ignorant prejudiced and conservative Consequently, they cannot understand the bad effects of increasing birth rate. Prevention of the increase of birth rate becomes difficult. In the developed countries, literacy rate is high. Educated people are conscious of income, expenditure and future. So they have a few children. Therefore, high literacy rate results in low birth rate. Uh, to sum up, it actually means if a person is uneducated, illiterate he or she will tend to have more children okay and if a person is well educated he is literate then he be conscious of his income expenditure and future that's why he will uh, have a few children all right now you can see two pictures here on the left side this is a picture from a village and you can see a lot of 
women and men are actually sitting and they are actually having a conversation or a meeting with another person he might be the chairman or a respectable man in the village and we can see there are a number of children with those women most of the people in the village they are not aware of their lifestyle and they don't have any problem regarding their children so they are unconscious of their income expenditure and future that's why they give birth to more children on the right side we can see a picture which can be connected to the city life because this is a common scenario in our family or in city life we can see a man and a woman and they are two children this picture we can understand that in cities people actually are very much aware of their income expenditure and future they think about their children how to give them a good life a better life so they have a few children okay so lack of education also causes dissimilarity in birth rate right the next point is early marriage and polygamy if early marriage prevails in a society birth rate increases due to prolonged married life that means if any person gets married in an early age he will or she will have a prolonged married life and that's why the person will give birth to more children polygamy also contributes to increasing birth rate polygamy mean, polygamy means getting married more than once polygamy also contributes to increasing birth rate according to early marriage prevention act early marriage is a punishable offense in bangladesh what can you see in these two pictures on the left side you can see a young boy and a young girl getting married so this is not only for the girls this is about the boys also that means early marriage can be for the girl and for the boy too unfortunately it was a common scenario uh 20 to 30 years ago in our country we are fortunate that this is a rare picture in nowadays in picture we can see a young girl holding a baby and she is in fact looking to another girl who is playing around what does it suggest it in fact portrays the girl's life she wanted to enjoy her life like that girl who is playing this is the age of her playing and studying this is the age of enjoying life but what is she doing right now she is raising a child because she was married early she had an early marriage and that's why she is having this life now on the right side you can see a man with a number of wives and he has a number of children so you can understand this is polygamy and for polygamy it also affects the birth rate for polygamy the birth rate will be high all right the next point is low living standard the poor lead a life of low standard they do not have to pay much for feeding education health care etc for this reason they do not hesitate to give birth to many children here you can see two pictures we can relate these pictures to our real life scenarios in dhaka city on the footpath we can see so many people they are living happily i mean they don't have those tension that what should they do to their children because they 
don't pay much for feeding education health care they actually don't think about those things they don't think about those basic needs they only they are only happy when they get food but what about the health care what about the babies what about the children they don't think about their education for that they give birth to more children don't hesitate to give birth to many children it also causes the dissimilarity in birth rate the last point was infant mortality rate the countries where infant mortality rate is high parents have more children in the hope of having children alive so high infant mortality rate leads to high birth rate it is really unfortunate that if we go back 20 years ago or 30 years ago the infant mortality rate in our country was really high so if the infant mortality rate is high parents will have more children in the hope of having children alive so high infant mortality rate leads to high birth rate you can see a couple and they have many children but i must say this is not the real scenario of today's bangladesh or any other country because medical science has improved so much and that's why the infant mortality rate has decreased well these were the causes of dissimilarity in birth rate now let's move into the impact of birth rate discrepancy well discrepancy means also the dissimilarity so what will be the impact increase and decrease of population have diverse influence in a country that means if the birth rate is increased that will have an impact and if the birth rate decreases then it will have another impact in the country if the birth rate is high in a country in proportion to land and other natural resources the country fails to provide the people with basic needs such as food cloth accommodation education and health care etc national income of the country declines as a result problems like food deficiency poverty unemployment problem in educational management ecological imbalance etc come into view so there will be so many problems and issues standard of life degrades man is attacked with many diseases this is because high birth rate causes thick density of population which spreads germs fast Medical values disappear. In a word, if birth rate is high in comparison to land and other resources, it will not be beneficial to any country. For this reason, considering the resources of the country, birth rate should be kept under control. On the contrary, if birth rate is low in comparison of land and other resources, then country's resources will not be properly used. That's why countries like USA and Canada, they actually ask for people from the country like Bangladesh, India, because they have more resources than the people. Well, let's review today's lesson again. First, we read about the causes of dissimilarity in birth rate. The causes were climate, lack of education, early marriage and polygamy, low living standard, infant mortality rate. Then we learned about the impact of dissimilarity or discrepancy in birth rate. The impact will be the country fails to provide the people with basic needs such as food, cloth, accommodation, education and health care. National income of the country declines. Problems like food deficiency, poverty, unemployment, problem in educational management, ecological balance, etc. come into view. Standard of life degrades. Man is attacked with many diseases. Ethical values disappear. Okay, so this was all about today's lesson. Thank you everyone for keeping patience.